Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for May 24. In this first video, I'll be covering a list of free assets, and in the next ones, I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also, if you need some assets, the Synthi Sale is having a sale right now. Pretty much all of their packs are at 50% off. You can build an infinite amount of games with all of these. And right now, the Sci-Fi Worlds is 70% off. This is the one that I use quite a lot in my Dinky Gardens game. Or if you want to bundle, then there's a great one on the Asset Store at 97% off. You can get 30 assets for just 30 bucks. So there's a bunch of environments, a bunch of materials. We've got some effects, some tools, some systems, and so on. There's tons of stuff with a super deep discount, so definitely check out this page to see if anything is interesting. Alright, so on to the top 10 list, starting with a nice on-screen pointer that can point to anywhere. This is a 3D element, so it can point to wherever you want and show it correctly on the UI. You can set up the off-screen arrow and also the target indicator when it is on screen. So it's a very nice, very simple tool, and you can also read the code on GitHub. Next, for some fun UI icons, here is an animation pack. Using animated icons can be an easy way to add an extra bit of polish to your games. You could make them, for example, static by default, and then animate them on mouse over. These have various shapes, so it's really up to you to decide what exactly do they mean. If you like this pack of animated icons, if so, then, then this dev has a paid pack with a ton more. Then here's a simple question, do you need some bread? If so, then here is some stylized bread. You've got 17 prefabs. I would think this is really just a demo of a larger pack, but no, not really. This is really just a pack. It really is an asset pack with 17 pieces of bread. Definitely very odd, but if you'd like to make a game kind of like a bread shop tycoon, if so, then this would be great. Or perhaps if you need some AOE effects, here's a nice free pack. It features eight effects with shader graphs. You've got some lightning, there's some geysers, some heal, and some meteor effects. These could be really great if you're making some kind of Diablo-like action RPG game, something top-down with tons of effects, tons of skills, or perhaps a fantasy RTS game with lots of abilities. Next, for an interesting system, here is an interaction system. It features item pickup, it has an inventory, there's item inspection. It also has the ability to interact with objects like opening some doors. You can either do that automatically or on button input. So quite a handful of interactions within this asset. This can be a super simple and very quick way to add some interactions to your prototypes. Then if you want to break some stuff, if so, here are breakable jars, vases, and pots. By breakable, it means how you have a normal game object with the object perfectly built, and then you have another one where it's broken into pieces. Now, this is really great. It's the simplest way to make some simple destruction. It's what I covered in my destruction tutorial video. If you have a game kind of like Zelda, you can just listen to when the player attacks objects like this, and then you just instantly spawn the prefab with some pieces, spawn them, maybe add some explosion with collisions and rigid bodies, and just with that, everything will fall apart into pieces in a very satisfying manner. Next, for another nice tool, here we have a minimalist notepad. This is exactly what it sounds like. It's a simple notepad-like window directly inside of Unity. By being a Unity window, it means you can dock it anywhere inside your project, so you could have, for example, a notepad right under the inspector. This is pretty simple and can be potentially quite useful. You can write notes for whatever you want. This one is the free version, and there's also a paid version if you want to handle multiple notes. Or perhaps if you need a pixelated character, if so, look at this one. It's a nice soldier with an axe and a shield. It features some interesting running, jumping, climbing animations. So in total, there's over 30 animations. This could be a really great starting point for learning how to animate pixelated characters. You can use this pack in order to learn how to figure out how to make the animator work. And then in the future, you can replace it with your own custom pixel characters, or perhaps pick up another character from this same developer. Next, if you're making a racing game, here's a nice free car model. Very simple, it is literally exactly what you expect. It's a nice low poly sports car, so really perfect if you want to make a quick prototype of some kind of racing game. And if you like this style and you want tons more cars just like this, if so, this dev has tons more. Or maybe you're making a giant open world game, if so, and you need some stamps, look at these height maps. I believe these can work with pretty much any kind of terrain system, so I assume it works with Unity's built-in system or even Gaia. These are stamps, so it's really height maps. You can just click in order to place all of these interesting mountains directly inside your world. So you can use these to add some really nice variety directly onto your terrains. All right, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for May 24. There's a link to so in the description, and also check out my own free and asset on store. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.